A very happy and a pleasant morning to one and all present here. Honorable Chairman, Oliver Enlightened Lynch School. Honorable Executive Director, Ma'am, Oliver Enlightened Lynch School. Respected Principal, Sir, Respected Principal, Ma'am. My dear teachers, all of the members of the Oliver family and my lovely students. First of all, let me wish you all a very happy Independence Day. This year, as we all are aware, things are different, things are difficult and things are out of control and the situation is yet to come under control and all thanks to the global pandemic. COVID-19 has really tested us in its most ruthless form and the entire world is suffering. We all are trying our best possible way to come out of this pandemic and this crisis slowly and steadily. So how can we, the Olivians, remain behind? We are back to where we belong, our beautiful school premise and we are happy to see you all together. And what a beautiful occasion to be together. It's India's 74th Independence Day celebration. And nothing can stop our spirit to express our gratitude and love for our country. But the sad part of this year's celebration is that our students aren't with us. We are here without our students, the souls of our schools. We miss you all dear students and hope that we'll be back soon with all the laughter, fun, energy and of course the zeal to learn. Though the students aren't here today with us physically, they may be absent today with us but there is nothing that can stop their passion and committedness to celebrate this beautiful occasion. Earlier we used to celebrate this occasion with all its grandeur, joyfulness and of course the hardcore feeling of patriotism. We all are missing that grand olive in way of celebration this year. But thanks to the modern day technology, which makes it possible to bring us together no matter where we are. So here we are, joined by our lovely students through this technology. And I'd like to thank the technology and the people behind this technology. We have tried our best along with our students to make this 74th Independence Day celebration a special one to be remembered and to be cherished forever. So now let's not waste too much of our time and get into the celebration and see what our students are up to. Happy Independence Day to you all once again. Thank you. With the stroke of midnight and with the cries of freedom, first unfolded our tricolor flag in the highest peak, the Mount Everest. The three colors symbolizing something very special. The color saffron symbolizing courage and bravery. The color white with the Dharam Chakra representing the truth and peace. The color green symbolizing growth and prosperity. The hoisting of our flag by our beloved director ma'am, our principal sir, and our joint principal ma'am, the national flag of India. This beautiful Urdu poem that talks about our nation being our garden and we being the nightingales of that beautiful garden. We Indians have settled all around the world, but it should be known our home is where our heart is. Shubhan Srandar Bosch once said, Give me blood and I'll give you freedom. And today, we all are proud enough to say that we stand in the land of Azad India. A very alarming morning of 74th Independence Day to all the citizens of India. Independence Day is the memorable day when at midnight of 15th August 1947, our mother country got independence from the 200 years of British rule. We the people of India got this independence after a very hard and long struggle, hardships and sacrifices of the brave Indian freedom fighters. Since then, this day is celebrated as the Independence Day with full spirit of patriotism. I am an Indian and I am proud of this. 
But the most important thing is, I love my country for no reason. So let's be one. United we stand and divided we fall. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat. Vande Mataram. Hindustan. Our dearest Hindustan. Our motherland. Our students talk about how the Indian heart is made of gold. Come, let's hear one of our students as she gives us a visual image of our beautiful motherland. How does it come to the thing? You and I experience the joy of living in a green land in India. I am Sanjana Kumari, a proud Indian of Standard 9 varieties, a student of Olivia Enlightened English School, reading the Great Indian Year, walking on the Great Indian Land, drinking in its beauty and ever gaining the things to realize. I am proud to say that my land has completed the 74th year of independence. Welcome to the heart of true India, in a land where diversity only grows, where success can be found in loss, and where the heart is bigger than the house. And one need no more explanation, hesitate in saying the name Hindustan Bharat India. The diversity of this beautiful country varied from state to state. A poor man can be found on roads in India's planning because of the love and affection that develops within the society. If I am unable to identify myself, then I will never be able to succeed in life. The name I receive, the identity I create, is the basis of root that originates from India. Lastly, I love my country and I need no reasons for it. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, thank you. India, a country which is known for unity along with its diversity. Just like our states are woven with the thread of peace and harmony. The national attire of our country is also woven in colorful silk of love and celebration. Come, let us see how our little children have moved all over India with the India's national attire. of the world and with the biggest democracy. It has always been the right of the people to express the opinion, to do something for the country. We take it as our right. Let's hear it from one of our students who talks about how India has captured the capital of the market, how with our Indian minds that is blooming with ideas have ruled the world. Let's hear it from one of our students giving a speech on India and its blooming economy. India, a nation of not thousands, not even millions, 
but of billions who are distinct in their views and thoughts. And the thing that ties us all together is that we are the children of same mother. The seventh largest country in the world, the biggest democracy, the largest exporter of silk and spices and one of those countries to possess nuclear weapons. And there are infinite number of facts of success of India which has put an remarkable and remarkable impression on the history of human civilization and human race. The famous companies like Google, Mastercard, Visa, who do you think are the CEOs of this? The Indians are heading in all of these fields and are the CEOs of these famous companies of all time in the history of the world. Moreover, the few famous inventions of Indians has changed the whole scenario of the world as some of these include zero as zebra along with shampoo and USB and the most important is the wireless communication if it would have not been there then we would have not been getting the mobile phones and at the end I am the proud citizen of the beautiful nation India so a happy independence day so just now we heard from Abhishek now let's see what others has to say. India is one of the fastest developing nations. Right 72 years, 473 years ago from today, India won its independence from the hands of the Britishers. And this could be possible only due to the blood of the great freedom fighters and their movements. India is the largest democracy of the world. I am proud to be Indian. Heritage and tradition. Proud to be Indian because country where people respect elders, people of India live in peace and harmony. India is famous all over the world. Unity and diversity is our speciality. India things makes India special and I'm proud of India. Thank you. An utmost form of expressing your thoughts without words. Our little students are so very talented in putting forth their wonderful dance steps. Come, let us enjoy how our students have enjoyed themselves dancing to this wonderful patriotic beats. महफूज रहे तेरी आन सदा चाहे जान मेरी ये रहे न रहे तेरी मिट्टी में मिल जावा गुल बन के मैं खिल जावा इतनी सी है दिल की आरज़ू
ओ हीर मेरी तू हंसती रहे तेरी आंख घड़ी भर नम ना हो मैं मरता था जिस मुखड़े पे कभी उसका उजाला कम ना हो आजा आजा जिंद शामी आने के तले आजा जरी वाले नीले आजमाने के तले Where the mind is without fear and the head is held down. That is our country, India, where we live our lives with dignity and love, doing our work and our roles and responsibilities with honesty and with a lot of freedom. We thank our mother country for giving us this brilliant opportunity. Come with me as our children speaks about the various features of our motherland. Suprabha, I am Chanda Paul, Kaksha Satvi, Khankar ki chhatri. Aaj, aap logo ke samne ek swanirmit kavita prastut karne ja rahi ho. Aur kavita ka naam hai Desh ke bache. Ham is Desh ke naam hai bache. Ham tiranga ko lehraenge. ऊंचे से ऊंचे पर्वतों तक हम उसे पहुंचाएंगे चाहे कितनी भी बाधाएं आए हम ना दुखरा रोएंगे दुश्मनों को मार पीट कर आगे हम बढ़ जाएंगे खून पसीना बहाकर हम अपना जी जान लगाएंगे देश की प्रगति के लिए हम कुछ भी कर जाएंगे भेदभाव को हटाकर हम सब को एक नजर से देखेंगे भ्रष्टाचार को दूर करके सत्य के पथ पर ले जाएंगे चलो ना आज प्रण लेते हैं एक बनाएंगे हम इस देश को सब देशों से धन्यवाद ऑन दिस ऑस्पिशियस डे आई एम वेरी ग्लैड टू रिसाइड दिस सेल्फ मेड पोयम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ऑल हु एवर इज वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो ऑन द अदर साइड I am also feeling very lucky to receive this golden opportunity by my school to recite a poem for my dear country India. Thank you. Jai Hind and Jai Bharat. I love my India. India is my Some things can't be expressed in words. My eyes are little wet by seeing the free flying words. Let's come and join the mission. Give world a burning lesson. 
Thank you and have a good day ahead. India, our country India. India has always been sacrificed at the greatest heart. Now, let us hear from one of our students who talks about the armed forces and the military. Hello everyone, myself Shristi Gok from class 9 and I am here to deliver a speech on I am proud of being an Indian. I am proud of getting raised in a country of fighters and hard workers. I am proud of being an Indian because India has the four most strongest military armed forces, four most strongest air forces and seven most strongest navy forces to protect its citizens. And so, I feel always protected in this country. India is rich in its history and literature. India also has some amazing sport personalities, musicians and dancers who are unstoppable of making their country proud. India may have poverty, but it is also the most fastest developing country. India is made up of all the sweat and blood flowed by those brave hearts who have given their lives to save their country. India has given birth to those brave fighters and amazing writers and those hard workers and all the brave speakers who are unstoppable of bringing the truth in front of people. I am proud of being an it. Jai देश मेरा ये वतन शांति का उन्नति का प्यार का चमन I want to lose myself in art give my soul to the colors forget that I have a name and become the kind of beauty that is found only in art This art competition that we held for the Independence Day was a very important event where the students could express their artistic ability. Using their creativity and gift for original thinking for the benefit of our society, the art of the children opened the window to all of us in understanding the thinking of the younger generations. When we look at these paintings, we are astonished and impressed by the students' ability to let their imagination run wild while they encounter the magic in the everyday things. When we look at them from new angles and different perspectives. Responding to the paintings we celebrate here today, I am stuck by the use of color in some, the reflection of light in some, the shades of some, and a great sense of motion in some. Each painting that was displayed here today and those that were submitted were unique in themselves. India, our beautiful country India. Various people have various images of India. So what is the cliché image of India? A very happy and patriotic morning to everyone. This is Anandita Sarkar from Standard 10 Equities and here I am to deliver a speech on the topic India and I. India, when this word comes to my mind, the first thing that I can visualize is myself dressed in a tricolor and holding a tricolor flag in my hand with my head held high in pride. India cannot be tagged with one description. The cliched images of a small child carrying flag in his hand can be described as India. The soldiers fighting on the border for our country without even caring about their own lives is India. The mother waiting for, his, uh, for her child to feed him the afternoon meal is India. This little patriotism that we display in our daily lives can be termed as India. When we got our freedom from a handful of foreigners who had come to rule over us, we knew that despite of being such a diverse country, we can sustain democracy due to the feeling of oneness and bonding that we have amongst us. Today, we are not only celebrating 74 years of independence, but also celebrating 74 great years of unity, bonding and nationhood. This unique feeling that we all carry in ourselves can be termed as India and I, India and us. We were, are and shall remain 
वन फॉर एवर जय हिंद जय भारत हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे भारत हमको जान से प्यारा है सबसे न्यारा गुलिस्ता हमारा है भारत हमको जान से प्यारा है सबसे न्यारा गुलिस्ता हमारा है सदियों से भारत भूमि दुनिया की शान है भारत माँ की रक्षा में जीवन कुर्बान है भारत हमको जान से प्यारा है सबसे न्यारा गुलिस्ता हमारा है